and say it from Singapore. So my question is that uh, can a Muslim who is serving the military combine their prayers, yani Zoho and Asa or Maghrib and Isha, especially when when they do not have enough ample time to do so during their service, Jazakumullah Khair. Okay, I will answer you, inshallah. Aid from Singapore says, can we combine due to the fact that we're working in the army? This is too genetic, Sayyid. Not everyone who works in the army can combine. For example, if you are guarding a post and you're the only one there and you cannot pray and leave your post, in this case, you, you're permitted to combine. But if there is someone else with you, then you have to pray on time. He takes watch until you finish. Then you take watch and he prays until he finishes. So here we can combine if there is a necessity. But to combine openly just because you work for the army, no, this is not uh, uh, permissible at all. You have to pray on time unless there is hardship, unless there is a true Islamic legitimate reason. Not because your uh, CO, uh, a commanding officer, ordered you not to pray. I don't obey him. I obey Allah Azza wa Jal. And if he insists, ya akhi, quit. Who wants to work in an army where they, told you, where you, they tell you not to pray? What kind of an army is this? I serve Allah and this is my priority. If it is an Islamic country and an Islamic army, then there is no obedience to other than Allah. If it's not an Islamic army, then you shouldn't be there in the first place. How would you fight with a cause, with a flag that is a kafir flag? And Allah knows best.